Hey everyone, Video Agent Dad here. Today we're going to revisit this Dell D6000 Universal Dock. Now why I love this Universal Dock is because of the fact that it actually comes with a USB-C for the connection and it actually has an adapter for it which goes to, which you plug into and it becomes a USB a, which your normal USB you can see, so it makes it very, very universal. So you can actually plug this into a lot of laptops there. Now I've already tried this on Windows laptops and also on Macs. What I might thought I might actually do is use this Dell Latitude 54 one and install Ubuntu one and see how that performs with this dock. So let's do that and I'll actually we'll test out the two different types of connection and see how far I can push it. Now right behind me I've got three monitors here, they're 24 inch monitors, full HD unfortunately. I don't have the funds to actually do 4K. So my right monitor behind me is connected by HDMI cable and my center and also left monitor is connected by the display port cable. And what we'll do is we'll connect this up with the USB-C type and also the USB-A type and see how that performs and how much it can run the external monitors there. For Dell D6000, you do need to install the drivers for Ubuntu. Now, you actually can find the drivers for the Ubuntu in the official display link website. And once you go to them there, go to downloads and then go to Ubuntu and then download the probably the latest official driver there. So once you click on download, I'll then click on accept. Now I've already pre-downloaded this, so I'll be sitting in my downloads folder. So I'm just gonna click on the compressed file, which is a zip file, and I'm gonna minimize this here. There are two files in this compressed file here. The first and second one is the one you're after. So just drag that to your desktop here. The first one is actually the drivers. The second is actually more for command that you'll see in a moment. So I'm just gonna close that on off. Now you do need terminal for this. So just press on your Windows key and then type in terminal. Another way to get to this terminal is click on short applications at the bottom left hand corner, scroll down, click on terminal down here as well. That's another way to do it. I'm just going to close out because we only need one of these. Now double click on the second file which is the txt file which is actually our information file. So just scroll all the way down to F, section F and that's how to install. Now if you go a uh, new Ubuntu fresh install then you more than likely need to actually install the framework for display link which is actually the KMS. So this copy this command here which is sudo apt hyphen get install dkms copy that and paste that into terminal press enter it'll ask you for your root password so just press you know type in your root password and press enter now I've already done this on this Ubuntu before so it probably will fail there so don't worry, it should only take about anywhere between 20 to 40 seconds for it to install anyway. The next part is we then need to go find where you actually extracted the .run file. At the moment it's sitting on my desktop, so I'm just going to go to my desktop. So I'm going to just go cd space capital D, E, S, tab, and it'll automatically fill out the rest, which is the desktop. Press enter. And now I need to run a this code here. Now the, you can copy it but there's an easy way to do this one here and that is pretty much just go sduo and then dot forward slash and then d and then tab the rest it will automatically fill in that. The reason why it's easy to do this is because you have to fill in this number here rather than xxx. After that press enter and because I'll read again I'll pre-install this already You'll, it will take around about, again, 40 seconds for it to install. After that, it will log you out of your user account and then log you back in. Once it logs you back in, you'll find that the Dell D6000 will start working. All the drivers have been installed on Ubuntu for to support the Dell D6000. After installing the Display Link drivers on Ubuntu, it's time to connect the computer up to the Dell D6000 dock. Now I'm going to connect it by the USB-C port first, and then I'll use the USB-A port to see how that goes. So USB-C, as you can see from behind me, I've actually got all three screens working, including the built-in screen. So that's for display there, right there. So I've got at the moment left, right, and down. So the HDMI is working, the display port and the other display ports working and also the built-in screen here is working as well, which is great. So what I'm going to try and do is actually just put the lid down and see how that runs with 
if it's able to just have free screens working right without the built-in screen and it looks like it is able to do it which is fantastic it has detected only free screens there which is great there so I'm sorry it's going to be a little bit harder to see the smaller screens but I know it can actually make it work with free external screens now I have had sometimes some difficulties with the free external screens or is sometimes it may not detect the other two display ports and it will only fire up just only the HDMI port and all you got to pretty much do is just take out the display port and plug it back in a few times and it will then actually hopefully boot into the triple monitor mode. It's just to do with the display port alternative mode. Uh, that's what I've read from previous, especially with the Max, that's the same thing as well too there. So let's what we will try now and do is just the USB-A port there and see how that runs there. So I've just unplugged it and I'm going to just go and plug in the USB-A port there and I'll just connect that up here just by the USB-A port there. As you can see I've only got two monitors working there with the USB-A there. I've got the two display ports, the HMI hasn't fired up there so what I'm going to try and do is take off the left display port and I'm hoping that it will fire up the HDMI port and see if it is really just the display port technology or it can only just do maximum of two screens there. So let's fire that one off. So I've just taken that off and now hopefully we've got HDMI. So we have HDMI and we've got one display port. Let's plug this one back in which is the display port here for my left monitor. I'm just checking out if it is really a two screen or two. It looks like it's lost the HMI port and it's just the display port there. I'm going to flip up the lid there to see if I can get another display here with the two built-in screen. Yes it can which is good. So you've got the built-in screen and you've got the two external monitors and again HMI is not on there. I'm going to try and just quickly take off the left monitor there and hopefully it'll fire up the HMI monitor on the right and the center monitor, yes it can, so it looks to be with USB-A, your normal USB that you normally see, that is only able to support two external monitors for the Dell D6000 dock there. Now from my further testing there, I can see that the Ethernet is working, so it is passing the network to the computer. I can also see the audio working from the dock itself, through headphones as well and of course all the USB is working there fine as well. Now as for charging wise your USB-C will charge the computer that's if your computer is able to support charging through its USB-C port but for USB-A your normal USB now that's unable to charge your computer so you still need to connect your laptop charger to the computer if you're running the dock through the USB-A port there. From my findings I can see that the Dell D6000 is able to support up the three external monitors through the USB-C port for Ubuntu and it is only able to do two external monitors for the USB-A port. Now if you find this video informative and enjoyed it give it a like and if you haven't done already subscribe my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom right screen I do try to add upload a new video every Tuesday and just remember imperfections and life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.